How's it going guys? Constant Chaos here for another tutorial. Um, tonight's tutorial is going to be on armor docks. Basically how to use them, um, why they're good, what they do. Um, they're also known as boat trojans. Oh yeah. Alright, we'll get right to it. Alright, so they come in both small and large. The small looks like this guy. And the large is for the bigger. So your large will house a galleon or a brig. And your schooners and your sloops. And I guess your rafts if you want to <laughs> protect a raft that bad. That would fit in a small one as well. So uh, this small armor dock is a common. And you'll be able to see why they are very important. Especially uh, in a PvP environment. Just this common... Uh, small armor dock has a health of 20 million so that's common if we go to a mythical armor dock it triples more than triples you're looking at 63 million so basically these are essential if you want to try and protect something now you would put your boat inside anything that's on that boat is also protected we've had a lot of people ask questions um, do you have to put a gate or a roof nope that's strictly it's it, I know it seems like it should have that but even though you can physically see the boat everything is still protected people could shoot at it but nothing's gonna nothing's gonna happen so there are a couple of things to know with these obviously they're crafted in the smithy so I'll just pull that up for you guys to see real quick so I've already got it typed in here, but you would just type in dock and it'll pop it up. They're not cheap, but they are worth every gold coin. So for instance, a small, just a common again, which will at least give you that 20 million health. Um, 700 alloy, 900 fiber, 10,000 gold coin, 4,000 stone, 1,000 thatch, 1,250 wood. So for material wise, it's not too, too bad. The alloys, uh, it'll take a bit to get the alloy. And it'll take a bit to get to the uh, 10,000 gold coin if you're not on a boosted server. Most boosted servers, this is going to be, it's not going to take you long to get this. Obviously, all the amounts increase um, when you move into the large armor dock. It jumps up to 50,000 gold coins, so same thing. And that's it. You craft it in there. Go ahead and place it. And then you park your boat in there. So it's fairly simple. You just drive in. Once your boat's in, go ahead and drop anchor. Your sloop is not protected in this ship house. So, the reason why it's not protected is because we didn't put any gold inside the inventory so if I go over to this one here that already has a boat in it and we look at the inventory it's got gold in it wow nice boat yeah that is a nice boat right <laughs> so in order for these things to actually protect you have to feed it gold um, depending on what kind of server you're on the upkeep will be different but just remember that these will not protect your ship unless you have gold in the inventory. So we'll go ahead and put some gold in this one. And that'll get you this symbol. Notice how it's white. So I believe it's a 10 minute timer before that initially turns green which means it's fully protected. So what that is to do is it's to prevent people from basically using them as as an exploit so if you were in the middle of a battle a ship battle with somebody and they basically leave and go and park in their armored dock you can still attack that armored dock and that boat and everything inside of it for at least 10 minutes once that turns green and they've got the gold in and everything else then it's untouchable not untouchable but they gotta burn through millions of health points which it would it would take a while so these things are definitely worth their weight and time and the amount to get the gold for them 
but they will do they'll protect everything you have they're, they're very very essential especially if you're smaller tribes or solo these are a great way to protect your assets and again they come in the small and the large I'm just waiting for this one here to turn green I did it prior to uh, launching the stream just to give you guys an example of the, the green versus the white but yeah other than that that's pretty much it um, they'll only do one boat um, we did test that we tried to put multiple boats in one when they first were released that worked but they've uh, they've since nerfed that so it's one boat per armored dock um, you can't build anything on them I think you might be able to place some things on uh, this small area here but as for inside it's it's its own structure won't let you attach anything gates anything like that um, there they were talking about Atlas was talking about um, coming out with some more cosmetics for it just to kind of dress it up a little bit but we haven't seen anything yet so that could still be happening in the future but as for right now it's pretty simple pretty basic but it's a uh, it's it's a big game changer for uh, people who want to be able to protect something in a PvP or lawless grid so they're super crucial definitely once you've got yourself a, a decent boat or any boat that you want to try and protect the next step would definitely be to look into one of these make sure you're crafting them and uh, protecting yourself Jackal, love the stream the other night thanks brother, appreciate it just waiting for this thing to turn green pretty sure it's 10 minutes I think Here's another thing too, so a mythical, or almost a maxed out mythical small armor dock is 63 million. The large bumps up to 95 million, mythical. Still white. I believe that's mythical. Yeah, that one's mythical. Let's just see what a common large. So a common, just place it anywhere for now. These are kind of tricky to place too. Obviously I'm flying so it's a little bit easier, but. So a common large will give you 30 million. Still white. So some people will park them up against the shore like this, and then other people will kind of use them as a drive-through. Um, when I've used them in the past, that's basically how I've set it up. I've set it up as a drive-through, so I've kind of got it um, perpendicular to what it is right now. So I can basically pull up next to my island and then leave in a hurry if I have to. Space between them, or can they move closer? Um, they can move a little bit closer, but especially these two right here, I noticed when I was placing it that um, it basically said it wouldn't allow me because there's a similar structure in the area. So you can't basically have them on top of each other, which is a good thing because people could basically line their islands with these things and it would be almost impenetrable because they've got so much health. I'm hoping in the future that they do allow us to uh, do some modifications to these or come out with pieces that we can use just to kind of dress them up 
not the prettiest thing out there but for what they do they are uh, they are awesome very essential so if you don't have one if you don't have yourself a boat Trojan you're gonna want to get one I'm almost sure it's 10 minutes Still white. There we <clears throat> green, green, green. So that's what it looks like. Once you have that symbol, then you know you're fully protected. Anything you put on that ship is basically they'd have to burn through 20 million in this one, in this case, in order to be able to basically destroy that and then start attacking your boat. So it's a huge bonus. They are a little tight for driving in and out, so it takes some practice, but yeah, it's, I know when, when I first got mine, I tried, I thought I was cool, I thought I would go full pin and try and drive into it and park into it, and yeah, if you're not perfectly lined up, especially a galleon, you will hit the side and probably lose a plank or two. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. That's the, uh, the armor docks why they're so important how they work hopefully that helps you guys save a few boats out there anyway awesome thanks for tuning in guys and I'll catch you at the next one peace <laughs>